Please join with me in our opening sentences. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the Lord of hosts is great among the nations. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our first scripture reading today comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 5, verses 1 through 8. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you, and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I... Through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second scripture reading today comes from the Gospel of John. Chapter 5, verses 1 through 18. Hear again what the Spirit is saying to you, the church. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up and take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews told the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is this man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was. 
for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I am also working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. i
children without might. Easy the road and light. Come to the And let us pray. Holy God, in the wilderness wanderings of Lent, we break from the doings of our day and make space to notice you. You are always with us in surprising guises. Jesus of the flesh, we meet you in worker and friend, stranger and pilgrim the needy and the needed, the questioner and the questioned. So when we meet you, may we deepen trust, deepen life, deepen justice, and deepen joy. And when you meet us, help us approach our activities with presence and power, with love and humility with courage and dignity. O oh God, you have made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred that infects our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and through our struggle and confusion, work to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Where there is separation, there is pain, and where there is pain, there is story, and where there is story, there is understanding and misunderstanding, listening and not listening. May we, separated peoples, estranged strangers, unfriended families, divided communities, may we turn toward each other and turn toward our stories with understanding and listen with argument and acceptance, with challenge, change, and consolation. Because if you are to be found, you will be found in the space between. God of mercy, this midday moment of rest is your welcome gift. Bless the work we have begun Make good its defects, and let us finish it in a way that pleases you. And now hear us as we pray together the same way the Church has prayed for generation after generation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now receive this benediction, called Blessing of the Well, by Jan Richardson from her book, Circle of Grace. If you stand at the edge of this blessing and call down into it, you will hear your words return to you. If you lean in 
and listen close. You will hear this blessing give the story of your life back to you. Quiet your voice. Quiet your judgment. Quiet the way you always tell your story to yourself. Quiet all these, and you will hear the whole of it and the hollows of it. The spaces in the telling, the gaps where you hesitate to go. Sit at the rim of this blessing. Press your ear to its lip, its sides, its curves that were carved out long ago by those whose thirst drove them deep. Those who dug into the layers with only their hands and hope. Rest yourself beside this blessing and you will begin to hear the sound of water entering the gaps. Still yourself, and you will feel it rising up within you, filling every emptiness, springing forth anew. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.